I recently decided to give Next.js a try for a little side project that I'm working on. And I wanted to pull in Tailwind CSS uh, to handle the styling as part of this side project. And I was able to figure it out. It wasn't terribly difficult to figure out, but there were a few gotchas along the way, even as a person who's uh, used Tailwind as part of a number of other projects before. So I thought I'd put together a little walkthrough of how to get this working in Next.js. Um, and hopefully the gotchas that I'll point out will save you a little bit of trouble uh, when, when you're trying to set up Tailwind with Next.js. By the way, my name is Josh Branshaw. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to get more web dev videos like this one. And uh, leave a comment below if you liked it. Let me know uh, what you thought and if you have ideas for future videos. And now let's jump into it. So I've got this alert component. That you can see I have my cursor over right now. And if I uh, jump to the definition of that, you can see down here on 42, um, I've got some styles that are in the flavor of Tailwind there, as well as on this span here as well. And if I jump over to localhost uh, 9009, which is where I'm running the app, um, you can see this warning message here, which is the component that I just pointed out, uh, but it's not styled. It's just uh, black text against the white background, no border, no background, nothing like that, uh, despite the Tailwind classes that we have on here. Uh, so that's the thing we need to fix, is we need to get Tailwind plugged into this app so that this component can be styled. So we'll jump back to the code, and let's just walk through some of the steps. Uh, real quick, a note about versions. I'm uh, currently using Next.js 9.5, Tailwind uh, 1.5.2 is what we're about to install, uh, as well as PostCSS uh, 7.0.x. So first things first, we're going to want to install Tailwind uh, CSS. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now that we've got that installed, we're going to jump to step two, which is to add the base styles for Tailwind using the Tailwind directives. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a copy of these and then split open a styles Tailwind CSS file. And we'll just paste these in. I'll save that and jump back to my setup. The next thing we can do is line uh, 27 here, step three. We can optionally add the Tailwind config file, which will allow us to further customize and extend what's it, what we're able to do with Tailwind. That file is now added, and we can go ahead and take a look. We won't do anything uh, here for now. On to step four, we're going to want to import Tailwind CSS into our app. So go ahead and copy this import line. Now this is where the first gotcha is. So if I were to open up pages index, I may be tempted to, uh, similar to how these uh, module based styles are being imported, I may want to just import my CSS like this. Uh, this is something that you might see done in you know other React apps. So it seems logical that you'd be able to do that. But as soon as we save it, we immediately get some errors over here where our dev server is running. And you can see it says, global CSS cannot be imported from files other than our custom app. What that means, and you can follow this link to find out more, is that we need to instead have a pages underscore app.js file where we import this. And the file needs to look a certain way. Now, fortunately, with uh, version 9.5 of Next, that file just comes pre-built with our Create Next app, as you can see right here. So we'll import it like that right alongside the globals.css. Now, if you're working with a uh, Next.js app that doesn't have the underscore app.js file in it, you can go ahead and create it yourself. Uh, just make it look something like this. The important part is that you uh, export a my, some sort of app component that uh, renders component with the page props. So I'm going to save that, and we're still seeing some errors in the dev server, and that's because I didn't save this file yet. Now we're compiled successfully. Jumping back to the setup, let's take a look at step five. 
Now this is where we get into adding post CSS into the flow. If we were to jump back over here, you can see even with the refresh, still not running with the styles despite those class names. And that's because despite having Tailwind installed, we don't have the post CSS processing that fully incorporates the, the Tailwind styling. So we'll copy this and add it to a post CSS config.js file. We'll save that. And then we'll jump back here. And then before that's going to work, we're going to need to install post CSS uh, itself. And we'll do that through the post CSS CLI package. And now that that's installed, we'll see that we need to restart our dev server. So I'll end that and run it again. And now our server's running. And if I hop back here, give it a second, and it was able to auto reload, and we're getting our styles here. Now, one quick uh, note um, of the other gotcha that I wanted to point out is if you're following along in these. Uh, installation guide on the Tailwind CSS site. You'll notice when you get to this step on the post CSS setup, it directs you to have these require calls under plugins. So if I were to try that out in the post CSS config, Like that, save it like that, and then restart the server again. We're going to see it failing, and it's because of malformed post CSS. And it's saying a post CSS plugin was passed as a function using require, but it must be provided as a string. So to remedy that, we can just go back to where these were strings. Run our server again. And we're back to where we want to be. Now just to show that this is uh, fully working, I'll go back to my index here, jump to my alert component, and I'll change it to success. Instead of warning, I'll say, yay, save that, let it compile, jump back over here, and you see that it's applying with the updated Tailwind CSS styling. So that's all there is to it. It's only a handful of steps, I guess six steps in total. There are two gotchas in there. Hopefully I saved you some time by walking you through it.